We're live. All right. Welcome, everyone. Figuring this out. Um, all right. We don't need that on there. Boop. Okay. So we're trying something new today. We're going to do Penny Pinching Tuesday. So for those of you jumping on early, that's awesome. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Waleed Willie. You're the man as well. Everest, that's awesome. And good morning, Hawaii. That's crazy. You're on an island in the middle of nowhere. How's the view? <clears throat> All right. So, yeah, we're doing Penny Pinching Tuesday, so I highly recommend not doing anything I'm about to do today because it's, it's more like going to the casino and uh, losing all your money or making a lot of money and trying to get out of there before the casino arrests you and take it back. So um, this is not going to be like my typical video where I'm looking at real companies. I'm going to be looking at a lot of rinky-dink companies made by two-year-olds and uh, sleazy salesmen. What was that beep? There was a beep from somewhere. Um, so, yeah. So what I'm going to do pre-market is build a watch list of the penny stocks that show the most potential because if you haven't traded penny stocks, if you're new to the markets, you probably all have traded penny stocks. That's pretty much how everyone starts. Um, but if you're new to penny stocks, they're very risky. They can go up a thousand percent in a day. They can go down a thousand percent in a day. So you can make a lot of money. You could be a millionaire overnight. You could also go bankrupt and be kicked out of your house and get divorced and lose your kids. So I do not recommend doing this. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do some trades, maybe, if I see something tempting, but with not a big position. This is more just fun. Um, unless it looks really good, then I'll do a big position. But for the most part, not big positions, just having fun. So what I'm going to do first is build a watch list of the penny stocks making big moves. If you're new to this game, you're going to be very shocked. You might get addicted because this is... Uh, you should do this very rarely. Uh, what's up, solitary couple? My man. Always showing the love. All right. So what I do first to build a uh, watch list is I do a screener. If you don't know what a screener is, um, just Google a, a stock screener. Finviz has a good one, finviz.com. It's free. But if you use Webull, Webulls is really good. That's what I'm using right now. So... Um, Webull has a section under markets where it shows the uh, top gainers. Good space to go to. Um, also, Robinhood has top movers. So go to those places and you can see the stocks moving. Right now, there's a stock up 80% pre market. That's what I'm saying. They're crazy. Um, so it's going to get real nutty today if I get into a trade. It's kind of like watching horse racing. You know, you pick the underdog, the one that's 80 to 1, and uh, you're yelling at him to win. But the reason he's 80 to 1 because he has a blown leg. Uh, but they don't tell you that until he falls before the finish and loses all your money. Hasn't happened, but, you know. Uh, what up, G? Blake, thank you. Appreciate it. Keenan, what's up? All right, let's get the coffee going. Then I'm going to start building the watch list. <clears throat> so this might be a one-time thing. Um, who knows? We'll see how it goes. Going to lose a little or make a little or... Make a lot, lose a lot. Either way, it's going to be exciting for you to see the chaos. All right, let's build a watch list here. Uh, oh, yeah, let me show my screen so you can see what I'm doing. Hey. All right, let's whip this guy over here. Boop. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. So we're going to whip up a watch list. Looks like we might have froze. Give it a second. All right. So, all right. So we're going to put on the watch list right now. I think ZOM. Yeah, Z-O-M. Is up. Uh, is up a bit. 16% pre-market uh, yesterday up 92%. So they're gapping. They're gapping. Let's make a let's zoom in a little tighter here. 
So I'm just going to show you how I build a watch list pre-market. Try and find a penny stock. Maybe we could ride a penny stock from a dollar to a dollar fifty. Make a quick, uh, quick fifty percent. That'd be fun. All right. Um, so right now, I'm just looking at my watch list, figuring out which stocks I'm going to add on, which ones are moving pre-market. Oh, La Yola. I've traded this before. They're gapping. All right. I know these guys a bit. Um, La Jala. What the hell? Bad. All right, so they're gapping 60%. Wow. Okay, so something good happened there. From 394 to 637, they're off the chart. I can't even find it. It's up there somewhere. It's way up. All right, so they're on. Let me move this so I can see what you guys are saying. Zama's going. All right, all right. REI, or what? REI on. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah, yeah if you guys watch any penny stocks, because everybody watches a penny stock. Um, we're only doing pennies today. Um, I will probably jump into the other uh, big stocks I'm, I'm trading just to see what they're doing. But for the most part, we're going to do a penny, penny pinch on Tuesday. All right. S I F Y. S I F Y. So what I do is I build a watch list first of all the penny stocks that are capping up looking good i don't want to do too many because i don't want to get confused i want to see which ones are um, up and then uh, what i'll do after that is i'll do a elimination round which ones have the best looking chart elimination round which ones actually look like a real company elimination round which ones actually have uh, good products so um a c t c r Oh, all right, let's see. ACTC, a little expensive, but up 50%. So we'll take it. Not a penny, but we'll take it. Um, we'll stick with, um, what's flickering? Something's flickering. Um, okay, Mel, you're coming in. So what I was saying earlier is I built a watch list. So if you use um, Weeble, there's a market section. And if you click that, the markets tab you can simply scroll down to top gainers if you're using Robinhood hit the search button and then there is a little uh, bubble at the top there's like a few hundred top movers top movers dividend stocks whatever pick top movers that's going to show you the big movers if you don't have either of those which you probably should have one of them um, finviz.com is another good free one where you can screen and what I do is I filter out um, on here I filter out what I'm looking for so I'm looking for smaller market caps so you could choose not on Robinhood but on Webull is really good you can choose your market cap um, so I'm staying right now under I think it's under three billion um, and then you pick your price range I'm staying under like three dollars so you can filter these things filter what your criteria is hit search and it's only going to populate stocks that are in that criteria. All right. Jeeva, if you want to retire. Yeah, I want to retire young. Jeeva's been on a tear. Jeeva, $5. Up another 3%. All right, let's stick to lower lower values, much lower values. Um, let me see what else is moving. So once the market actually opens, that's when the real craziness is going to begin because we're going to see stocks run and going ballistic. So let's build this watch list quickly because we only have so much time to eliminate the uh, the dog crap and keep the gold. Well, it's not gold. It's it's fake gold, but it's still still gold for pennies. All right. ACTC that's on there. Vox. Oh, they're trading too much. They're too high. All right, let me look at this watch list. <clears throat> CPHI, CPHI, CTRM. ALRN. 
Okay. So we got, a, we got a little watch list here. I'm going to keep adding them in as they're popping up because what I'm searching for is just stocks that are moving pre-market. And these are the biggest pennies moving pre-market. Wow, look at Jivo. Look at Jivo. Don't know what it wants to do. All right. So let's let's scroll through here. So the next thing I'm going to do is see which one has a nice looking chart. And then we want to do a little, little search and find out what do they do. Are they actually making a product? Are they actually selling anything what's their revenue because most of these companies are fake tnxp are they a penny remember we're just doing pennies today under three dollars they're a penny beautiful up 2.5 <clears throat> up 2.5 what's this button okay all right <clears throat> uh, TNXP has nosedived, and now they're picking back up. So, all right, let's run through the list. Let's look at Zom first, up 90%. What happened here? Up to $1.08, they broke out. Let's see what, so right now we're looking at Zom, okay? So the way I analyze pennies, look at the chart. Let's see what it's doing. <clears throat> all right, so channeled around here, gapped. A lot of people bought up here because they weren't ready for this. Majority of people, they weren't watching here. So they got in here. <clears throat> now just waving in the zone. Question is, what's next? What's next was a gap up. Now it's waving in this zone. This thing's doing the step ladder. Well, actually it's still in the staircase, sorry. All right, so let's, let's zoom out a bit. So you always wanna zoom out and see what the stock has been doing previously to get a better idea of what it's gonna do going forward. So this thing has done another step. So this thing likes making steps. It's trying to go to one of the stories in the home, uh, second floor, attic, eventually maybe basement, but we got to figure out what floor it's going to right now. <clears throat> so right now, this thing is holding beautifully. This is a nice looking chart, real nice looking chart. Up 18% pre-market, 92% yesterday. So this thing has not broke any support yet so this is a strong stock boom boom oh boom boom all right so and now it's up here boom so typically stocks will close those gaps y'all know this typically likes to close these gappies which it did with this little red candle close the gappy here no gappy closed here, no gap be closed. So typically the stock would ride down and then head up. Hasn't done it. So we're going to wait and see how this reacts. You don't want to just jump in. It's a nice looking chart. It could run now. Could hold one and run. Um, 150 is a number these pennies usually like to run to. <clears throat> Zom has a product coming out in to market March 30th. What's the product? Is it socks? Please don't tell me it's socks. Bingo was a penny stock. <laughs> bingo was. Now bingo has won. Someone yelled bingo, they're gone. Uh, TRXC. TRXC. Check these guys out. <clears throat> All right, down 15%. All right, this one's looking decent. There's a phone in here somewhere. This one's looking decent. It's actually pulling back, closing the gap, selling off, profit taking, because this one gappied. So if we could get a nice Tony Hawk half pipe formation back up to 220, this could be a buy. They make kitten mittens? No, thank you. No, thank you. Although that's a big market. People love kitten mittens. That's actually, yeah, I, actually I'm changing my mind very fast. Kitten mittens would be a great business. If that's what they do, I'm all in. Volume is huge for Zom. All right, so let's ditch what's not looking good. Uh, this one's a little pricey. Let's see. I'm gonna ditch, ditch this guy, too pricey, not moving much. Listen, today, that doesn't mean it's not good. Just today we're looking for wild stallions. Too expensive. We're looking for wild stallions. Um, REI. What's going on here? 
Okay, this one's moving very slow and consistent. What's the market cap on this one? 90 milli. 90 milli, that's actually decent. What's what's sci-fi? I like this name. Okay, they're they're selling off up 80%. What do they do? So I like to find out what is the company doing? Um, is the move justified? Uh Integrated Internet and Electronic Commerce Services in India. It operates through the following segments. Okay, Telco. Eh. So with these pennies, most of the news is fluff. Um, especially if they're a smaller company. Market cap, 283 million. These guys are a much bigger company, so they're probably putting out real stuff. Um, CTRM. Whoa. This thing looks like a heartbeat. Up 18% pre-market. 32% yesterday, gapped up, broke out of highs for December. So this one's interesting. What do they do? Caster Merit Me? What the hell's that? What a weird name. Oh, shipping transportation. They must have got a contract or something. What's the market cap? 33 mil. Okay, this is a little ranking thing company. 33 mil in stock market is not a lot, but it's not bad. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, so is this what Zom? Okay, Zom introducing highly sensitive species specific assays for the diagnosis of thyroid disease in dogs and cats, and adrenal adrenal disease in dogs. Okay, all right. They're in the pet game. Listen, people love their pets. Love their pets. If um, if you got a pet, you're gonna you're gonna spend all the money you can to save that little guy. I get it. So, uh, medicine for kids, parents will do anything. Medicine for dogs, people will do anything. So, both good companies to invest in. Uh, let's pull Zombie back up. So, I like Zombie. I like Sci-Fi. I like CTRM. Um, I like TRXC. So, what I'm going to do now is... Nothing else is jumping up right now. Let's look at ALRN. Did I look at this one yet? Okay. Oh, look at... Okay, this one half-piped. This one was a buy. If anyone was watching this one, you should have bought it with the Tony Hawk half-pipe formation. Look at that. It actually hasn't completed yet. There's still a little room. Look, Tony Hawk half-pipe formation. 220. Price target. <clears throat> so this one could be a buy. So what I want to do now is let's narrow this down some more. Let's ditch the ones we don't want. REI... Okay, REI actually looks like a stable stock. Good, probably good stock, but we don't want stable. We want crazy today. Remember, um, don't do anything I'm about to do if I buy any of these. Um, this is more of like a, a gambling way of trading. Well, well calculated uh, gambling because I am doing a little bit of an analysis on it. Um, but I'm really just going to try and jump in, make a little 50% run on one of these ranking things, but you could also lose 50%. This is penny stocks at the end of the day. So anything can happen, and they move very aggressively and fast. So let's, uh, after I narrow these down, I'm then going to figure out my entry areas. So uh, just hang on for a second. All right, this one I'm ditching because they're not doing anything. <clears throat> uh, this one, this one I like. Okay, so ALRN is on the list. Let's figure out where an entry is. What do they do? Therapeutics. Cancer. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so this one has I'm gonna say two dollars. It's got like 50, 50 cent on the table. Might be able to scalp. <clears throat> so 160 is our break. So if 150 fails, most likely 140 is coming to close that gap out. So this is our um, this is our exit if we get in. All right, this this would just be a bottom area of where it can close, and then that would be a good entry. But that would also be a, a downward signal. So what we will want this stock to do? It made a very bearish move. So. This one's going to be tough to dig out of the hole. It's going to have to bounce back above 180. If this can uh, bounce back above 180, I'll jump in. It will be a buy um, in my book. But 
Don't don't follow what I'm doing. Don't do it. It's risky. It's risky piss. All right. So uh, above 180, I'm going to get in on ALRN. Uh, TRXC is following the, the downward Tony Hawk half pipe formation perfectly. It's the beginning of it. So it has come down. It has waved down. It should keep coming. So around 120, 130, 125 would be my entry on this guy. So we'll have him there. That's my entry. Let's build a little, put a little arrow on here so I know that's that's the rocket zone. All right, so we got those two butt nuts. Uh, CTRM. This chart looks a little strange. Um, 16% pre-market. Nothing else is popping up yet. Not really feeling this one. Sometimes it's all intuition. Sometimes you might not just feel it. You know? I already feel some gamble vibes. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Penny stocks are all gamble. So go into the... Let, treat penny stocks like a casino. Go into the casino with money you're willing to lose. You know, um... You're shopping money, you know, uh, you're, you're fun spending money on Friday. Don't go in there with your food money, with your food shopping money. No, because then you're starving for a week. So this is more of like a fun thing. You go in here with, you know, some some profits you may have scalped, some leftover change in the cushions. You go in there and you have some fun because, listen, you throw a little money in here. You could do very well, but... If you lose it all, you can't be mad at yourself because you're playing penny stocks. So we're going to see what we can do. We're going to see. Um, it's going to get nutty for sure. It's going to get nutty because I'm, I'm jumping in something. Just for the sake of having a good time. But I'm going to try and pick a winner here. All right. What are you guys saying? Um, let me check up. Lucid Motors. CCIV. I don't know what that is. That's a church. Looks like that's a church, bro. Did I do something wrong? We don't trade churches. Yeah. Churchill. Yeah. Um, what am I missing over here? Hold on, let me scroll up. Um, Ogen. Let's pull up some Ogen. That one that one um sounds familiar. Something happened with that recently. It was running or something. Uh, Ro o o Ogen deep in the dumps. Um, they are doing the Tony Hawk half pipe formation. It's at the bottom of it. So this one actually might be decent. So this one pickled over a dollar. Yeah, all right. We'll leave Ogen on there. Um, they're at the bottom of support. So this thing can um, tumbleweed all the way down deep into the dumps to 50 cents if it breaks below that green line. So... We'll leave Ogen on there for now. All right, we got a plan there. We got a plan there. CPHI. CPHI has already bumped up. Maybe they're gonna they're gonna dribble, and uh, eventually, maybe test up. Keep that there. Um, Sci-fi. Sci-fi could push. Could push higher. Two fifty. And I don't know. It's it's kind of Eiffel Towering. I'm actually going to ditch them. La Hola. Uh, they're not even on the map. Ditching them. But we want to keep it small. We don't want to overthink and overprocess what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm getting down the list. I'm getting to you guys. But, yeah, you don't want to be looking at too many. You want to focus on just one. Oops. All right. Here we go. All right. What else we got? ATVK. I feel like I might have. ATVK. Oops, ATVK. Twenty-two percent. Very small. What are these guys trading at? Market cap eighteen million. Okay, these guys. It's probably like a, a father and son business. Very small company. Yeah, this one. Uh, this one could actually steadily churn upwards in a safe direction, but um, too safe. Too safe. 
All right, what else we got? We got uh, Mitt. Mirrors IVR. Let's look at Mitt. Is it a penny? 286. Not wild enough. We want crazy stocks today. Um, CCIV. That sounds familiar. Oh, that's the one we just did, the church. All right. Oh, it's a spec. All right, naked. NAKD. Naked brands. This one's found sounds familiar. I, I probably traded all these stocks. Oh, okay. This one looks good. Up 27% pre-market. That's the numbers we want. We want these good numbers. We don't want rookie numbers. Got to bump those numbers up. We need at least 50% plus for pre-market movers. If you're just joining in, um, we're doing Penny Stock Tuesday, Penny Pension Tuesday. We're looking for penny stocks. We're looking for runners. So we want a, um, a penny rocket. We want to rocket a penny to the moon. Uh, very risky. Don't. I do not recommend this. Um, this is just going to be a um, lose it all or make it all type of trade. All right, uh, naked. All right, we'll leave we'll leave naked on. I have to. It's really in 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 thin air right now. I don't know what it's going to do. This is really just going to go or fall. I can't really read any technicals on this one. So we'll we'll just leave it on there for now. All right, what else we got? Come on, guys, give me something good. Let's find a good penny here. All right. TSNP. TSNP. Hmm. 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 This one actually looks decent. This is holding a nice bottom. What's that bottom? 15. Really nice bottom at 15. And it's perking. You know when it perks, it's a good sign. So it's not really a big mover. Three, three and a half percent pre-market. This might be. It's. It look. It looks good. Whoever mentioned this, um, TSNP. I lost you. Oh, Callion, Alori. Um, stock looks good. If you like the stock for some reason, it looks nice, but it might be too slow for today. Um. Yeah, under 20 mil, probably eliminates then. Absolutely. You're a smart dude. Very smart, Matt. Very smart. He gets it. Um, uh, how do I feel about CCIV? It's a charge. I mean, it's a charge. What else we got? All right, so we're looking for the wild penny today, the wild stallion. Hello, Jay. What up? All right. Three minutes till market opens. We got some pennies on the table. We have entry points. It's about to get crazy. Let's uh, let's get ready for the madness. Let's get ready for the madness. All right, it's about to get crazy. All right, we're gonna see what happens here. Try and jump in something. Let's look at. I'm gonna do a quick look at Robinhood and see what movers are on Robinhood. If you want to figure out how to do that, <clears throat> just go to the little search bar at the bottom popular list just hit daily movers and then filter it by um, change percent these numbers will really spike up when the market opens so you just gotta wait that's very true it's very true all right <laughs> plus they're not on the books they can lie about how much money they got in the hat all right Two minutes till market opens. I'm also gonna keep a peek on <clears throat> keep a peek on the regular watch list. But today, we're just penny pension. Penny pension. If you buy a, uh, a stock for a penny, goes to two pennies, you penny pinched. And guess what? You made 100%. Through the roof. <clears throat> All right. Uh, two minutes. <clears throat> About to get crazy. Hey, today I could make a nice. I'd be, actually be comfortable with 
30%, but I'm not Houdini. I can't just make it happen. Um, TSNP, like I said, this chart looks beautiful. I already deleted it for today, but it actually looks beautiful. If it holds 15, if it drops below 15, get out. All right. <clears throat> oh, it deleted Zom. Oops. Don't want to do that. So Zom looks like this might be the guy. This thing's breaking out, but it's in thin air. So let me do a quick zoom out and see if we have some resistance in the back. Okay, we got some resistance that we broke. Eh, no, nah, it's, it's, it's pretty light. All the way to like two bucks. This thing could go to two bucks. All right, we're going to watch Zom at the open. <clears throat> Zom at the open. Here we go. Markets are open. It's getting crazy. All right. Let's give it a little refresh here. See what's happening. Be patient. Zom, 114. What's going to do? Nosedive or continue? Let me get my order form ready on whatever I'm going to buy. If you guys see something, let me know. All right, here we go. Zom, 117. All right, let's zoom in on Zami and see what she's looking like. 119. All right. I want to get him. Get it on Zom. Okay, let's try and get a little. All right. I'm in at 121. Did I get it? All right. Okay, I got 122. All right, 122 on Zami. Let's see what happens. Oh, I just thought it popped. All right, 122 on Zami. Um, <clears throat> up a little bit here. So with pennies, you got to get in and get out. This thing could pull back. 130 first test. Let me zoom in. We got to do minutes. We got to watch the minutes on these pennies. 125, we're looking good. Remember, we only need a few pennies to make some money here, but we're going to ride it out. Oh, she's pulling back. Straight to nosedive. All right. Remember, don't do what I'm doing. This is just this is just wildness. I don't even know what this company does. Oh, someone said the revenue looked good. All right. So this could close the gap, and I have a stop in at 115 to quickly get out. If this thing goes south, oh, I probably just... It probably just closed me out. Did it close me out? Yeah, it closed me out. That was quick. Okay. Oh, for one. Straight to Putville. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, for one on that one. You had to have tight stops um, just in case it decides to nosedive. Naked looking good. Oh, naked's nose diving. <laughs> All right. I, f I feel like Zom's still going to be good. If it gets back over 120, I'm going to get back in. Naked. Not doing much. CPHI. Not doing much. All right, pennies are dying. Let's look at the watch list. What's popping up? All right, I have an order in on Zom if it goes back over 120. Because that could just be a little push down. And we'll try and uh, scout back. We'll try and get 10 cent. All right, we'll see what happens on that one. Robin Hood, top movers. So with pennies, you're probably going to have to do like three four five trades to make money it's gambling you're taking a stack of money you're throwing it in up oh, lost 
throw it in, up, oh, lost. And remember, these are small losses. And then eventually one will run and you just let it run. You don't sell, just go, 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 go. And the bird takes off. And then you made all your little losses back and you have a big win. So that's how the penny stock game goes. Little trades. Eventually one's going to run. Okay, Zom is about to push me back in, but let me look at the top movers on Robin. Remember, don't do what I'm doing. This is gambling. Percent. All right. Get out of here. All right, what is Ed? Okay, now that's too expensive. Okay, so if Zombie gets over 120, it's back bullish. Naked. Okay, naked actually might be decent. See, the thing is, I don't like these gaps. When a, when a penny does these gaps, let's try and find a penny that's that's waving. That's doing this, a little wave. Or doing the half pipe. Those will be ideal. Oh, Zom about to put me back in. All right, what else we got here? Let's do sort this by price, actually. Price. Yeah, Robin's not doing too great uh, for for pennies. Oh, oh no, I might be back in. We might take another loss. Shoot, unless it pushes over. Fubo, Fubo, nice per pero 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 pero. All right. <coughs> If anyone's just joining in, oh, I'm back in Zom. Oh, no. Let me just set my stop loss. I don't think I said it. Hold on. All right. If anyone's just joining in, um, we're doing penny stocks. We're, we're penny pinching here. We're seeing if we could scalp any, any nice little trades here. Um, don't recommend doing it because we're playing pennies. For all we know, like someone said, uh, I think it was Matt, uh, it could be a lemonade stand. And they say that they are um, in the military. They build aircrafts. But really, they're just giving out uh, lemonade stand, lemonades on the side of the road. Um, or they're homeless. You know, whatever. All right, so we're back in Zami at 120. It went. It did a little uh, sell-off profit-taking from the Gappy. And now it might actually do something. I have a... Uh, I'm probably going to get out 130 unless this thing shows strength and we could keep pushing. Let's check the volume on this butt nut. Volume 77 million. Eh, decent, decent. All right, 126. We're pushing up. Second attempt. Let's see what could happen. Oh, 128. Okay, she's she's pushing. All right, let. If I get out at. um. Oh, here we go. 130. What can she do? Any other pennies popping? Zom on that. Zoom! Zoom, zoom. What is this? Mazda? Do they still make those commercials? Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. All right, I got to stop in now at 125. Let me just change it to actually 124. Pushing the stop up. I'm just going to keep raising my stop. Okay. So my stop is in at 124. Actually, let me drop it to 123. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep inching up my stop loss as this thing hopefully goes higher. If it breaks out 130, we're looking good. Um, 123 is my stop. So as this stock moves up, I inch up my stop. So we're going to see what happens here. 128, zombie. Let's check out naked. Naked, chilling. What in the world? Naked chilling. Zombie. In a trade. AMC looking all right. AMC, what do y'all think is going to happen with AMC? Is it going to go into the toilets? Are they done? Are movie theaters over? 
I think movie theaters might be over. All right, we're about to get stopped out at 123. And lock in three pennies. Three little pennies, come on. Needs a push up. Oh, might have got stopped out. Yep, reversal started. Okay, I'm out. All right, we locked in three pennies. Okay, all right. Naked. Oh, naked. Oh, naked's going. All right, let's go for naked. Naked. They're about to break out. Let's go for naked. Little trades. Little trades. Remember, it just needs a run. Just needs a run. Fifty sevens our breakout. All right, I might be in. All right, it's a penny pinching Tuesday, and we're having some fun. We're trading some pennies. Listen, this is how the penny game goes. You don't hold these things because they can just they could just nosedive. I'm actually going to get it cheaper. About to hit some midi. Okay, where's our bottom? It's close. Actually, I should probably put it in here. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's Penny Pinching Tuesday, so... Ooh, I got a good price on this one. All right, we're in at 55. Okay, so we got to figure out... So when you get into these pennies, you don't hold them. You don't get lost in the sauce and... Um, Think that they're they're going to do tremendous things. Think, oh, if I'm up fifteen uh, percent, I should keep holding. I'm going to run this to a thousand percent. It could go to the moon because maybe previously they were at eighty dollars and now they're fifty cents. There's a reason they were at eighty and now they're at fifty because they're no good. All right, so it's curling. It's curling now. We don't. This is a negative move. This would be an exit. So I have my stop at fifty two. Right down here is my stop. That's, this is where I, I will automatically get out. And then we have our breakout. If we have our breakout up here, to the moon. It's going to the moon. So right now we're in middle land. Okay, so let me do an orange where I'm at. Where's 55? Around here somewhere. Okay, so we're right in the middle. So this thing, listen, it could do anything. If it goes south, it's probably done for the day mostly. If it breaks 50, 51, what is this, 52? Let me see, 52. So we'll see. If it could break below here, I'll get stopped out, but I'm at the bottom of support. So this is the best place for it to bounce. So we'll see what happens. Naked, we're doing small trades here, small trades. I got a horrible price in Naked. What are you in at? Take a look at Zami. Zami, chilling. We were just doing some trades on Zami. Lost one, one, one. One for one. All right, we're going to see if Naked can create, um, could trend up from here. So on these on these pennies, you can't walk away. These are not long-term investments. These stocks you have to stare at. Ball guys. You just got to stare at these things all day. So it did It did actually perfectly push up here. So we're doing, we're doing some zigzag. So if we could do this, we're pushing up. It needs to hold it though. If it if it breaks this trend, you just get out. You move on. Pennies, you, you don't do not hold long. If you're in an Apple, a Tesla, you know, Fisker Whisker. Well, not Fisker Whisker, but uh, companies that have revenue, Neo. If they drop, you, you don't get scared. You can walk away from the computer with those. But pennies, you don't walk away. You gl eyes glued to the screen the whole time. You can't walk away. Because at any moment these things nosedive. Always use stop losses. Okay, my stop loss is right around here. I'm in at the orange. Green is the breakout. If we get the green breakout, we're sending the rockets. We're sending the rockets. I really want to send some rockets today. But um, it, 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 so far, it's, it's yeah, we're one for one so far. We'll see what happens. Look, penny stocks, don't go in heavy on them unless you know what the company is. They're making products and they're just small, but they're showing great growth. Then, you know, Okay, but pennies, it's its more of just throw your money in there, watch it, and it could do anything. 
there's really nothing to justify it unless you know you know a lot about the company. Anything else popping up? Anything else popping up? French Bulldog, what are you saying? Worst trader I've, 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 I have seen. Worst trader I have seen. Okay. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, here we go. Naked pulling down. Pulling down. See if it cracks below 54. Resin. Resin looks good. All right, we'll check out resin. We're going to exit out of this trade if uh, 52 cracks. Let's see what happens here. This is Penny Pinching Tuesday. We're playing with little money. We're just having some fun playing the penny game. Uh, we're going to do this for a little bit longer. See if we could lock in any nice gains on these pennies. See if we could turn these penny pinches into penny handfuls. That would be nice to change the title to Penny Handfuls. Handful of pennies. All right, this thing really needs to hold um, 54. 53 will be okay, 54. So it, it's it's trying. It's trying right now, up 34% on the day. So you have to be very comfortable with taking a lot of losses on these little pennies. But they're always little losses, and eventually one's going to hit. Oops. Where you're gonna make, um, you're gonna let your runs keep going. I'm gonna show you. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at Zami. 129. This will be a re-entry, but I'm in, uh, I'm in naked right now. Naked's moving too. All right, so, oh, look at naked doing a little breaky break. All right, Zom and naked both looking good. Let's delete all these other butt nuts. Just play with these guys for right now. Zom. If Zom clears 130, it's going to go on a tear. It's not good to multitask in two pennies, but let's see if this thing can push up here. If this thing breaks above 56.50, oh, it's about to. It's about to look good. Let's delete uh, whatever this line was. Yeah, they, they, don't do these trades. This is just solely entertainment. We're going to get back to our regular regular scheduled program of uh, Pershing, Neo, all the good guys, Fisker, Whisker, Ride. See what Tesla's up to. All the good doodads. At the end of Penny Pinching, I'm going to take a look at um, the other stocks briefly and then uh, see what happens. So let's see what uh, Naked's doing. Well, why is it called Naked? Because people lose their shirt? All their money can't afford clothing. Zom, if this thing breaks 130, all right. I should probably get back in Zombie if 130 cracks. It's funny. It, it came down 121. It's holding a trend. All right. Am I going to do a double dose? Am I going to do a double dose? About to do a double dose. Person going steady. Nice. All right. We're in. We're in a double dose. Okay. Now, what's going on with Naked? Okay, Naked's hammering. Naked's about to go on a tear. Okay, where did I get this butt done at? This thing could wave down. Whoop. See if we could do that. Oh, Naked. Okay, Naked is moving nice and slow now. There she goes, tanking. Uh, Zomdika. What's Zomdika? Is that Z-O-M? Is that what I'm trading? Zomatica. Is that what you mean? Check. Zom is alive. Okay. All right, both pennies pulling down. All right, let me draw in here where I got Zomi. I think it was 29. Okay. Okay. So we're going to 
All right, we're watching these two butt nuts. What's going to happen? All right, so we're in a couple pennies. We got some stoppies in. What do you think about it? I, I don't even know what it is. I'm just having fun just trading pennies. Well, uh, someone said it's good revenue. Um, and um, it's looking it's looking decent. It's breaking out right now. Oh, there it goes. All right. I'm in at the orange. Naked. I'm in at the orange. Oops, not this orange. I'm in at 55. Okay. Both, both breaking out right now. We're in two winners. We're in two winnies. We're looking good now. Listen, it's okay to jump in and out of these guys. They're pennies. Naked. Okay. Now, if naked can crack over this green, we got to break out. We're going to send the rockets if it could break over the green. Zom. Um, I should probably get out at uh, 135. That should be my get out. Lock in gains. Lock in a nickel. Lock in a little nickel. Okay, so this uh, naked looks like it's going to wave in here. It's going to wave. And hopefully we break out to the upside. Zom. Let me put in my, my exit for nickel. We're playing nickels today. Um, actually, I'm going to do a mental stop because this thing could just bust through and I don't want to get stopped out if we have a breakout. All right, we're looking good on these two butt nuts. This lemonade stand and this sock seller. Oh, naked. What are you doing? Zom. Zom is testing. All right. We're about to send the rocket. Where's my rocket? Okay, here it is. All right, they're both um, they're both chilling. They're holding their gains, which is impressive. All right, zombie zom, naked. What else we got? Dollar by the end of the day. You think on zombie? All right, tickly. All right. She perking. She perking for sure. Naked. I mean, if I had more time, it'd be better to do some more research. But this isn't a lot of money I'm trading with. We're just goofing. But if we get a breakout, it's going to be decent. Penny Pension Tuesday looking good. Looking good. All right. Naked actually holding its gap up very well. I mean, eventually, it's starting to curl, so it's probably, if it doesn't do a bullish move right here, it's going to go south. It's going to go south. Zom. Zom could go sideways. Listen, these pennies, at any point, can just waterfall. They could just trickle down. The The spout can break, and they could just whoop at any point. So you got to be super careful with these butt nuts. Just delete all this chaos. All right, naked. Test that 57.92. Test it. Zom. Oh, what a move. All right. All right. Zom, 133. Both looking beautiful. Got to fight all profit. Nice. Buy them lemonades now. Both looking good. <laughs> Listen, not knowing the full name of the company don't matter. They're Benny Stocks. Who knows if they're real? You ever see Wolf of Wall Street when he's selling those penny stocks, those pink sheets, and it's some rinky-dink shed in the middle of Texas? They're not even selling a product, but he's like he's selling it like it's an amazing company, cutting edge. <laughs> this is how to mess with the pennies. Yeah, we're messing with pennies. We're penny pinching here. All right, so Naked is actually starting to turn sour it's 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 pumping out a lot of red candles um i'm gonna probably stop out um oh no she she hammered back i think my stop is fine i, I don't want to raise it i gotta stop at 52 i'm not gonna raise it it's okay if we if we lose uh naked actually holding a nice trend here who would have thought uh, or not naked uh zom zom is holding a nice trend here Never would have thought a penny could hold a trend. Unless it's doing a Tony Hawk half pipe formation. 34. All right, she wants to, she wants to bust out at 135. 135, we're sending the rockets. We're sending the rockets. 
you you don't want to mine penny stocks is that a thing all right naked um falling apart naked is uh is looking i mean it's looking fine actually it's not not that bad so i think right where i got it is a nice support area let's see yeah it's actually decent support green flag how much you make a day a lot pennies all right uh so naked is hovering right on support 55 that was that's where my entry was so looking oh, oh zom send them no, throw the roof zom is through the roof look at this that's a breakout 140 all right we're gonna set a cell for 140 139 All right, finger on the trigger. I'm not gonna, um, I don't have a um, physical stop. I have a mental. So, um, okay. One second, one second. It's hard to multitask here. All right. All right, we're looking very good on Zom. Naked. Naked's looking really good. Both are actually holding very well for pennies. Okay, so for Zom. Oh, look at she go. She's running. She's lifting off. This is insane. It's in supersonic mode. We're going ballistic. 141. All right, so I have a uh, mental stop right now at, uh, well, I have my finger ready on the trigger at 132. I'm actually going to bump it up. 130. 134. We're going crazy right now. We're going crazy. All right, so see what I'm saying? It takes a few jabs. Now I'm just letting the profits run, and I just keep raising my stop. So where I'm going to stop out, I'm just going to keep raising it up rather than just exiting because I'm in the green. So right now, my my mental, I have a mental stop right now at 134. Oh, oh! she's running. She's running. We're going super sane. All right, 137. We're going to raise it to. We don't want to get too close because it's, it's breaking. Actually, I'm going to inch it down to 136. So just to show you, my finger is on the trigger, ready to get out. I should actually bump that up some more. 137 is good. Okay, so 137, we're going to lock in profits. We bought at 129. What's Naked doing? Naked's hovering. These are two good ones. I don't remember if I found these or someone else did. But look, if you know how to read a chart, you, you could do decent. Just uh, YouTube, uh, how to read technical analysis. You could do decent. But don't do a lot. Yeah, they could dump at any moment. So, Zom up 56% on the day. We're going parabolic here. We're going parabolic. And anyone that uh, thinks this could hit a 10, who knows? They might be right. But... You don't want to hold for 10. You want to just lock in your profits. Okay, we're going to inch this up some more. 140. We're in a breakout. All right, so we, we're locking in a nice gain on this. It's still going. It broke out of that 135. So if you want to wonder how I knew that, I mean, it's pretty basic analysis. Right here is our resistance. So if it cracks above that, boom. It's going to lift off, which is exactly what it did. It just pew, went crazy. So we're going to get stopped out at 140, locking gains. And hey, this thing can keep going. It can, but it'll also plummet. The name of the game is to lock in gains. Here comes the waterfall. Oh, oh look at that waterfall. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? 
These pennies can waterfall. That's crazy. Look at that waterfall. I probably sold a little bit lower because of that, but I had my stopping. That was awesome. That was a perfect example of what <laughs> pennies can do. All right, yeah, I, it exited me at 139. So look at this thing, deep in the dumps. That was awesome. Oh, look at naked. We're about to switch to naked. So at any moment, this is a perfect example why you don't mess with pennies. They could just nosedive south. Always have your stops in, ready to trigger. Naked. They might, oh, naked's running now. Let's send the the friggin' uh, where's she at? Send the girl. Look at naked going. We're making game. Okay, so naked's doing the same thing that Zom just did right here. Is your resistance? Whoosh, we're breaking out. So let's move our stop up. Hold on, sixty is going to be a problem. That was hilarious, and that was fun. Okay, oops. What is it, 56? It's like 56.5. Okay, oh, they're about to stop me out. Oh, this thing's a dead dog. What are you doing, naked? Ears hurt from this. All right, it was a, actually a successful Penny day, I think Zom, what they were doing was eating up all the stoppies because this thing just rebounded nicely. But we're good. We made our money. That's penny pension. All right, so we could always jump back in, Zombie. Uh, I'll check back in it if uh, any of you crazy people have decided to get in. Um, all right, so Naked's actually still looking good. It actually followed my my uh, one of these trend lines nicely. This little guy, waving. So it went down, up, pinched down, and now let's see if it runs up. If not, I'm going to get stopped out like 56.5, somewhere on there. Meanwhile, uh, switchback looking good. If anybody's in switchback. All right. Oh, I'm probably getting stopped out. Cause probably, I probably should have put it a, a penny lower. Let's see. Not yet. This is crazy. Penny pinching is a wild, wild thing. Oh, this girl's still going. We're good. We don't need you no more. Nothing crazy is happening. So listen, uh, what the hell is this? What is going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't be a goldfish uh, in penny stocks and think that these things can go to the moon. Scalp your money. Quick scalpies. Zami, what a recovery. So Zami, um, some people that maybe got stopped out uh, trading down here, or maybe they took some losses, they're kicking themselves right now because it's now it's heading back up, but you can't do that. It's the penny game. Anything can happen. So Zom could be at $2 in a month. Who knows? I, I haven't looked into it enough. I'm just, I'm just trading solely off Years of experience of looking at these little butt nut charts. Um, I think I'm stopped out of naked at this point. Yeah. Yeah, it sold me out. All right, so um, I, 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 I took a little money on there. What was it, like a penny? Yeah, we penny pinched on that. We made a penny. All right, so we had a bunch of successful trades. One loss of the day. Not bad. 10 o'clock. That was fun. That was quick and exciting. I'm going to get back to um, normal stocks. Let's do a quick rundown of some real companies. Um, that was some fun penny pension. Let me know if you liked penny pension. Um, if I should do that again, uh, it's called penny pension Tuesday. I was going to do it every Tuesday, but it's such a risky thing. It's such a risky game. Um, that Zom waterfall was epic. That was a Niagara Falls effect. That's what that was. I think Zom's done. I think it's done. Um, naked, naked, still looking healthy. All right, so let's look at um, some real stocks real quick. I just want to see what my my holdings are doing. So, Pershy Persh, all right, she perking. IVR is probably a dead dog. Yep, IVR is a dead dog again. Um, what else? ICLN, Clean Energy, okay, up half a percent. 
Neo, what's Neo doing? I've been wanting to get back into Neo. Um, I think it can still come down. I've been day trading Neo, which has been fun. It's trying to like slowly come down, it looks like, and close the gappies. Uh, so if you're new to the streamy, um, click the linky in the description if you're interested in following when I buy or sell stocks. Um, I do stock alerts, so you'll, you'll get an alert right to your phone if I buy or sell. Also, we have a Discord where we uh, chat and share ideas and, and whatnot. Um, so that's it. That's Penny Pinch and Tuesday. I'm going to get back to regular trading of real companies. These pennies, it could be 50 cents. Uh, Zom could be 50 cents a few days from now, or it could be $2. I don't know. Uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone, for that signed in. Appreciate it. Um, until next time. Uh, next time I'm streaming is Monday. Monday morning stream of real stocks. All right. I'll see you all later. Thanks for uh, 